I don't know who. It's I blame I blame the guy who tried to break into my car. Lily's car got broken into. And ever since then, we've been postponing and postponing this podcast. So, once again, welcome to the On The Contrary podcast. <laughs> my guest today is Lishli M. Simang. And as you can tell, it's my first female guest. How dare you? <laughs> she was supposed to be on last week. I even insulted you on the last, last week's episode, bruh. I haven't listened to the last and week's one. people are like, women like cancelling me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have. <laughs> again. <laughs> I... So like your car got broken into, bruh, like, mm. what was your initial reaction? Uh, the reason why I'm asking, I just want to, like, you know that initial instinct of yeah. wanting to be angry with someone? Yes. Who were you first angry with? Like, The first person I was angry with was the, the you know those car guards, those three car guards? Yeah. Yes, those security people that have reflectors on. That's the first person I was angry at because I was like, where were you? Why are you here, bro? Why are you here? I give you money I, all the yes, time. Yes. I've been giving you these, these five runs. Okay, it's two runs, but... <laughs> <laughs> you were behind <laughs> with your payments. But yeah, that was the first person I was angry at. I was like, why... Did, who, how is it that you didn't see? And I was like, it's you. You broke into the car. And then um, he explained that he went, he went somewhere and I, was, I didn't, I didn't wow. want to hear it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, man. Like, I ask us usually as people... We get angry with everyone except ourselves. Yes. And when I mean everyone, it's like either we're gonna now I have a reason to use the K word now because my <laughs> car got broken into. Yes. Now I'm blaming the government. You no, see the government. Yeah, if if it wasn't for Cyril, yeah. If it wasn't for my mom doing this thing to me, or if it wasn't for yeah, if it wasn't for insurance, <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't be here. But insurance is also cack, bruh. Yeah, insurance is cack, I won't lie. Um if it were up to me, I would have, I would have just paid for the thing myself. Or sa- saved up the insurance premiums you have been yes, paying. Yes, yes. I would have just paid the thing myself. But I was like, no, I've been paying for this thing for a long time. You guys must do something now. You must work. I've been paying for this thing. There's like one thing, man. If there was anything, and there's many things, mm. that I think is like more difficult for a woman to do. Yeah, what well, the insurance part. Dealing with... Car things. Oh, Dealing with car yes. problems. Because number yes, one, I hear what you're everyone is talking to you like you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And half the time, you actually don't <laughs> know. But it's like mechanics takes advantage of women. Because yes. mechanics take advantage of me. Because when I bring my car in, I don't sound like I know what I'm talking about. So then, then they go, ah, no, I can, I can, I can shake this I can guy. finish this. Wi- I can yeah. fix this window nicely for yeah. you. And yeah, so that's, that's the thing. Even with, with me, they tried to maneuver things. I was like, hey, hey guys, Something I've is not fixed right a here. house window before. Yeah. I know that this, this amount that you're giving me is not right. What amount did they give you? They wanted to charge me like five point something. And I was like, uh-uh. Mm, to fix mm, a window mm, plus, mm, to fix a plus window, tint. Plus tint, that's it. Yeah, a window bro. plus tint. I was like, no, that's not going to happen. And then, um, then they, they reduced it. And then I was like, no, insurance must deal with it because why, why am I paying insurance? I've, I've asked you guys to insure my car. Yeah. Now pay for the thing. And, and if it's 5000 let the insurance pay yeah, for it. Yeah, let the insurance pay the 5000 I mean, what's 5000 on top of the, the 1000s and the 500s and the what what's right. that I've been paying all, all, for all this, this time being insured with them? And this was my first claim, yeah. by the way. So do you have medical aid? I do, unfortunately. <laughs> have you had a... Have you had a broken window on you? And medical no. aid was doing this to you? Not no, yet. No, not yet. No. I haven't yet really used my medical aid. Huh? Yo, that, that's, that's a bitch and a half. Can I swear here? Sorry. Please, you can swear. <laughs> okay, They'll sorry. just stop showing my videos to kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's like, medical aid is weird. Now. I have this thing where like, I don't want to die by mistake. <laughs> what, does, <laughs> what does that even mean? You want to plan die? If I was like in a car accident... Yeah. Or if something happened to me, I don't want to die because the government hospital was a bit further than what it was supposed oh, to be. Like let a helicopter you come fetch me rather. <laughs> You're waiting for the wee woo wee yeah. woo to die. <laughs> like I had a friend, and this is not intended to drop the mood or anything. Mm. He was in like a bad car accident, he even flew out the, the windscreen. Chucks. Then um, the paramedics were like, hey, let's not risk it, let's take him to a government hospital. Because if we take you to a private hospital, it's going to start billing you. And plus, now we can't get details from this person. 
What? Then they took him to the public hospital and then they stabilized him. But by the time they stabilized him, his parents had found out what happened and they went to the hospital. And apparently his father made like a scene there, like, hey, you'll need to take my kid to a private hospital. Yeah. I don't want him here. Then when they were taking him from the public hospital to the private hospital, I think he died in the ambulance or in the helicopter or something. What the hey? Imagine, bruh. No, dude, that's no. There's no saying whether he was going to make it still. If but he I went mean, to a private hospital, but... It's, it's less y- logistics. Y- yes. <laughs> you're, dealing with, uh, you're dealing with less less nurses that don't care. Bruh? Yeah. 